This is one of multiple videos discussing layer 3 switching. In a previous video, I showed you how to configure a switch with layer 3 functionality. So I showed you how to enable IP routing on a switch to allow that switch to route between one VLAN and another. We also configured two routers to act as PCs and we were able to ping from one router to another. What I'll do now is extend the topology by bringing I mean, some Docker PCs. These are essentially lightweight PCs that allow us to boot up Linux very quickly. So what I'll do on the first PC is configure it in a fourth VLAN. So I'll give it an IP address of 10141 and a default gateway of 10.1.4.2.5.4. I'll also set the DNS server to 10.1.4.2.5.4 and click Save. I'll connect the PC to Gigabit02 on the switch. So these two ports are in VLAN 2 and 3. And what we'll do now is configure this port in VLAN 4. I'll start up the Docker PC and open up a console to it. So here's the console. ifconfig shows us the IP address of the PC. One of the advantages of Docker is that it boots up extremely quickly. So it was almost an instant boot. Now the PC can't ping the switch because we need to configure the switch. So at the moment pings are failing. So I'll go onto the switch and have a look at the interfaces configured. So show IP interface brief. Notice we don't have a layer three interface in VLAN four. We need to configure this IP address on the switch to allow that PC to ping out of VLAN four. We also need to configure VLAN 4 and put this interface into VLAN 4. So conf t VLAN 4, show VLAN brief. We've now created a VLAN 4 and it's been added to the VLAN database. That however does not create the SVI or virtual switched interface. We need to type interface VLAN 4 to create the SVI and configure the IP address on the switch. So show IP interface brief. The SVI is created, IP address is assigned, but the interface is down. So we need to no shut it. Show IP interface brief again, allows us to see the interface, but it's currently down because no interfaces have been allocated to that VLAN. So we need to put this interface into VLAN 4. So switch port access VLAN 4. Now when we use the command show IP interface brief, we should see that this interface comes up. That may not happen immediately, but after a while, we should see that that interface comes up, assuming that gigabit02 is in the right VLAN, which it is, and assuming that that interface is up, up, which it is. Notice now VLAN4 is up. So back on the PC, previously the PC couldn't ping its default gateway, but now it can and hopefully it'll be able to ping router 2, which it can, and we can prove that by looking at router 2. I'm currently running a debug. So show debug on router 2. Shows that IP ICMP debugging is enabled, so we should be able to ping router 2 and see the debugs which we do. We should also be able to ping router one, which we can. 
Once again, this PC has an IP address of 10141. On the router acting as PC2, we should be able to ping that PC which we can. So we've now enabled three VLANs on this layer three switch. I'll configure a fourth interface and connect it to the second Docker PC. I'll change the IP address of that PC to 10.1.5.1. Default gateway is 10.1.5.254. And I'll set the DNS server to 10.1.5.254. Click Save. Start up the PC, open up a console to it. PC is booted, so I have config. IP address is 10151. This PC will not be able to ping the first PC on the left until we've configured the switch. So I'll configure the switch while leaving that ping going in the background. So first thing we need to do is configure a VLAN. So conf t VLAN 5 in this case. So show VLAN brief. VLAN 5 is created. PC can still not ping the other PC yet because we have to put the interface into the right VLAN. Gigabit 03 is currently in VLAN 1. So interface gigabit 03, switch port access VLAN 5. Show interface gigabit 03 switch port. The port is now in VLAN 5, but the PC can still not ping PC1 because we have to create a switched virtual interface. We have a switched virtual interface for VLAN 4, but not for VLAN 5. So interface VLAN 5, IP address 10.1.5.2.5.4. I'll no shut it. Interface VLAN 5 has come up. Show spanning tree. Ports are forwarding and pings are starting to succeed. So PC2 can ping PC1. So I've now got four interfaces on this layer 3 switch configured for inter VLAN routing. I've configured the VLANs and configured into VLAN routing on the switch. In other words, it's acting as a layer three switch. That's because IP routing is enabled. If I disable IP routing on the switch, the pings will fail. Notice the sequence number is at 49. I'm gonna stop there. If I enable IP routing, notice the pings start succeeding once again. You need to have IP routing enabled on a switch to allow it to do inter VLAN routing as well as to allow it to support routing protocols. So that was an example of how to configure a layer three switch for inter VLAN routing. I hope you found the video useful. If it's been of benefit to you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.